sons and daughters of God, God loves you. He loves you very, very much. I mean, his love is incredible for you as an individual. Sometimes people think that God is angry at them. But if you're a born-again Christian, if you're a new creation in Christ, you are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. Your DNA was changed from the very moment that you repented and dedicated your life to the Lord. Remember that? The honeymoon stage. A lot of people go through that. So when you first get married, it's great. The honeymoons only last for a short period of time, that stage. Then the real work begins. You see, what new Christians don't know is that you're going to have to work very, very hard to grow in Christ. That the honeymoon stage only lasts for a short period. Then the real work begins. A lot of Christians fade away because they think that it's going to be easy to be born again, to, to grow a relationship with God. But it takes work in any relationship that you have. When you got with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your husband or your wife, it was great at the very beginning. It was wonderful, of course. And then the real, after the honeymoon period faded, then the real work began. It's the same with the Lord. That's how people are married 30, 40, 50, 60 years. They were married and their honeymoon lasted for a while and then the real work started. You know, I, I, I used to ask, you know, people that were married 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, how did they do it? And they said it took a lot of hard work. It's the same with the Lord. You keep pressing in. You keep pushing. And it's worth it. It's probably you want to be one of the hardest things you ever do. Because you, you can see your girlfriend. You can see your husband. You can see your wife. But you can't see God. But the fact is he loves you very much. And he's always there. Always. Sometimes you can't find him. It seems like he, he's not there. But the, he is. He is you know, in any relationship, you're going to be tested. You're going to be tried. Every relationship. Girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, son, daughter, aunt, uncle. You're going to be tested. And if it's the same with God. It's the same with your father. Your father will, is training you to, you to rule the universe with him one of these days. And you're going to be tested and you're going to be tried. And he's going to stand back and watch you. But he's still there because he loves you. And he won't put any more on you than you can bear. And I know that it gets unbearable sometimes. But you, you can bear it. You can do it. You know, one of the easiest accesses to God is praise and worship. In praying. And if you pray long enough to the Lord, you will break through. And he will touch you. And you will go into his realm. If you praise and worship God long enough, you will feel his presence. And that's probably what you need to do sometimes when you don't feel him around you. You know, just push and push and push and, and tell him you're not going to let go until you, until you bless my... I'm not going to let go until you bless my soul. And you just go. If it takes 15 minutes, if it takes half an hour, if it takes an hour, just go, 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 go. Praise, 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 worship, 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 read, 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 pray, pray, pray. Whatever it takes, as long as it takes, until you can feel his presence. And he will step in, and you will feel his presence. Sometimes you have to do that, and that's what he likes. He loves it. He's God. <laughs> He's the king. Kings love to be worshipped. Kings love to be praised. And he is, you know. And he, you respect him for who he is. And he'll respect you as your son and, and, and as you're in his bloodline. 
He only wants the best for you. It gets easier after we graduate from this, this earth. It'll be better. It'll be easier. But we're going to have to keep learning while we're here. And that's why I think that's why we go through ups and downs and trials so that we can learn. How are you supposed to rule the universe with God if you haven't learned anything? You know, this is boot camp. Boot camp is like 12 weeks long and it's difficult. It is hard. And after you graduate from boot camp, things get a lot easier. Same scenario. God loves you very, very much and never forget that. He doesn't, he doesn't hold anger against you or anybody. Not his sons and not his daughters. He doesn't do that. He just wants us to learn. He just wants to make us the best that we can possibly be. Just keep pushing and keep pressing. Do not give up. Do not go backwards. Keep forcing that relationship to grow. Now, this is a declaration. That's a good one. It's uh, Psalms 86, and um, me and my wife are going to do it. I hope you and your husband or wife do this every single day, along with your children. Get everyone together and do and read out this the same um, version of the Bible. We read the King James Version. You might read something, another different version. It doesn't matter. But read the same. Everybody read it out loud, together. Do this in your church, too, if you like. And then after everyone's done, everyone says their individual prayers, and then everyone goes their, say, their separate ways, and keep talking to God. And encourage your family to keep talking to God. It's life-changing for the better. It's a discipline. And so establish a new habit in your household. And uh, you can subscribe to the channel if you like now before I forget, and give a thumbs up. So Psalms 86, and it's in the description area if you like to follow along. There's, a, there's also prayers down in the description area and prayers in the um, comment section also too. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, and for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good, and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will cause upon thee. For thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord. Neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great and doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise Thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify Thy name forevermore. For the great is Thy mercy toward me, and Thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set Thee before them. But Thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it, and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast helped me, and comforted me. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for dying on the cross for me. And Lord, please forgive me of every sin that I've ever committed in my entire life. I repent. Father, I thank you for bowing down your ear to me. You're with me all the time. So it's not, that, and that's not, that, it's not like you have to bow down very far because when you're standing next to me, you're listening to every word that I say all the time, every word that I think. You know all the hairs on my head and where they're placed and it got a number for each one of them. So 
I know you know me very well. You know what I'm going to think before I think it. You know what I'm going to pray before I pray it. Because you're God. And I thank you for hearing all of my prayers. Oh, Lord, I thank you for hearing me. I'm poor in the spirit, and I am in, in very needy of you, Lord. Preserve my soul, Father. Preserve my soul, Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. I'm holy because of you, Lord. I'm a new creation in you, and I have your spirit in me, Lord Jesus, and I thank you for that. Thank you for saving my soul, Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that I can trust you more and more every say, single day, Lord Jesus. And I thank you so much for all the mercy that you have bestowed upon me, Lord Jesus. And Lord, I do cry out to you daily. I talk to you, and sometimes I even cry with tears, Lord. And I thank you for being there to, to uh, hear me and hear all of my supplications. And Lord Jesus Christ, I lift up my soul to you, Lord Jesus Christ, because you are a good God. You are the greatest, Lord. And you're ready to forgive, ready to forgive. And I know you've forgiven me many and many times, and you'll forgive me many more. And I thank you for this, and I don't take it for granted. And I thank you for all the plenteous mercy, all of the mercy that you've given me. I sure appreciate it, especially for saving me, Lord because I'm not going to hell now. And I thank you so much for your forgiveness and all of your mercy, Lord Jesus, so that I can actually have eternal life instead, Lord Jesus. Hear my prayer, Lord Jesus, as you do always. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Attend unto my voice and my supplications, Lord Jesus Christ. And I know you hear and lean on every one of my supplications, Lord. Thank you for being with me in my troubles, in my day of troubles, my month of trouble, my year of trouble. And I'm going to continue to call on you, Lord Jesus, when I'm in trouble. I will call on you. I guarantee it, Lord Jesus, because you will answer me every single time. You might not answer me quickly, but you will answer me if I wait, Lord. And help me to wait. And help me to believe and help me to trust in you more and more every day, Lord Jesus. And Father, teach me your way. Lord, teach me your way. God Almighty, teach me your way so that I will walk in your truth. Teach me your way, Lord Jesus, and unite my heart with the fear of your name, Lord Jesus. Teach me your way, Father. In Jesus' name, I thank you and I praise you and I honor you for feeding all of the hungry people across the world today sheltering everyone who needs it, giving fresh water to everyone who needs it, showing your face and saving every soul. Show every individual that you love them very, very much and show them who you are, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless all of my family members. Save them all. Save every last one of them. Amen.